Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday 26th of November 2022. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord Almighty who was and is, and is to come. Holy is the Lord God of heaven and earth. Holy is the God of the universe. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Holy is your name. Hallelujah. 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 Holy, holy, holy. Holy is the God of love. Holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. King of the kings. Lord of lords. Glory to the Lord of lords. Glory to the King of kings. Psalm 2 verses 1 to 4 reads why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain the kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed his anointed one let us break their chains and cast away their cords the Lord laughs at them he taunts them the same similar um, verse of scripture is in Acts 4 26 um, the kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one if they're conspiring against the Lord the king of kings the Lord of lords they're conspiring against you man they're conspiring against you woman they're conspiring against you my brothers and sisters my friends so if you don't believe that they're conspiring there is a conspiracy then this verse of scripture or these two verses of scriptures should suffice to, to prove that there is I mentioned in my, one of my past uh, videos about them gathering together again For their climate agenda whatever that is under that name anyway under that disguise and uh, we know what that is we know what they want uh, we don't know in full maybe but we know in part that all it is is about control they want to control you and I they want to control our money they want to control our and usage of energy they want to control the way we drive cars and our vehicles they want to control even the Sun and moon and their heat and their um, coldness and they want to control uh, everything that they can they want to pretend to be God they want to play God on earth and they can't they're very trying but they can't achieve that they miscalculated everything from the beginning of this pandemic and things didn't pan out according to their plans it, it didn't work out as they expected they miscalculated a lot of things they didn't um, consider a lot of important factors such as people's opposition and people's will and people's unity people all over the world united and they are opposing their agenda all over the world but of course they have kept all these hidden from us to hear to see by controlling the media it's in their hands they can easily control that and a few weeks ago um, 28th of September to be exact I made a video about what was happening in Iran and, and I told you that is the battleground and it's it's an important thing that's happening in the world uh, it's not a local thing it is not something that is only affecting one country it will affect the whole world and that's why they have kept all this uh, uh, hidden thing 
they kept it secret they didn't even talk about it in any of their media for at least two weeks on the third week they started talking about it and all they talked about was that there were some protests in Iran against compulsory hijab and and I told you then and uh, that it had nothing to do with hijab yeah. only that is only one element of what the demands of the people are and they want the whole regime moved completely and replaced with a um, democratic secular government and they already decided who would run that um, new government they want their own crown prince back Reza Pahlavi but of course again the media keeps that quiet they don't want other people other nations to know that well I want you to know this this is what they want and they have even managed to infiltrate the people inside the country with their own agenda with their own plans and they're putting uh, their own people to hijack this revolution this is not a protest here and there against some policies of the government this is a revolution it's now in its second month well into its second month and people are shouting slogans that are clearly against the whole establishment and they're also shouting slogans that they that they are indicative of what they actually want they are very clear clear messages but mm, the whole world has kept quiet they didn't know what to do with it because they didn't estimate that they didn't take that into consideration like I said the power of people this video is not about Iran by the way if you are thinking of leaving uh, this video and switching it off listen because this is not about Iran that's just an example to show you they can keep things hidden from you they can keep things hidden and in secret um, for as long as they want and then they mention it they bring it up when there is no choice for them when they are forced by people to say things about it but even then they try to uh, twist it twist the reality twist the truth and tell you show you the crowd put some music on it and talk over it and not let you hear what actually people are shouting or saying what their demands are that's just an example but we'll come to uh, the climate discussions and the conference they had as well and, and and that's another thing so if they can hide from you and I a massive revolution taking place in a in a very important world role player in the world from the world from the people of the world then they can hide a lot of things now after almost two months United Nation was forced to acknowledge that this is a revolution and and but actually they haven't acknowledged this is a revolution they they have um, acknowledged that human rights are violated in Iran why do they do this and why do they admit to that after 43 years of human rights violation in Iran after this brutal regime of mullahs have killed and tortured millions of people have ravaged the country have uh, betrayed their own people and sold off their land to foreign countries sold off their sea even to foreign countries why other nations why the United Nations if it was doing its job right if it was doing what it's supposed to do why 
They didn't raise any questions. They didn't say anything. They didn't um, create this committee that is supposed to investigate the human rights in Iran after 43 years. Why they didn't do that all these many years? Lots of lives have been lost. Millions we're talking about. And also millions were driven away from their homeland to other countries, emigrated to countries they didn't want to and they wouldn't under no normal circumstances. The estimates says there are about 8 to 11 million Iranians in exile, involuntarily. They didn't want to. But because of their circumstances, they had to leave. But the United Nations, which is not a United Nation, by the way, it should be called United Governments. It's not United Nations. We, you and I, are not united in that assembly. We're not represented. You are not represented. I am not represented. So why do we call it United Nations? So United Governments. They're all united. They're all conspiring against us, the people. And after 43 years, it's a joke that they want to investigate human rights in Iran. Is that a joke? After how many more years do you want to investigate human rights in China? After how many more years do you want to investigate human rights in any country? As if we have the human rights or any rights in other countries, uh, let alone in a particular country. I don't even want to name, name anything because the, the human rights doesn't even exist as it's supposed to, according to the, their own wordings. Where is it? Where is the human rights? When the little me can't even speak out and say my words and I get snuffed out. My channel is practically dead because they don't allow it to reach people. It's censored. But Without digressing, I wanted to keep this video short and clean. Just wanted to say, whatever you see on the news, it's only the tip of an iceberg and you have to take it with a pinch of salt and you have to analyze and have discernment, spiritual discernment. To discern what's behind it. Just now I read it on MSM that the father of Princess Diana's boyfriend, whatever you want to call him, boyfriend, partner, illegal boyfriend, whatever, you know, I'm not really interested. He's just claimed that Diana was killed because she was pregnant to his son well is that a new thing why is that now claimed now how many years ago princess diana died or was killed why are we talking about it now because it's the time it's all unraveling their newly appointed King Charles II goes out and gets egged by people. They didn't even have enough people to clap for him. 
they couldn't even gather 10 people around him just to clap for a show. They're angry. They're not achieving what they want. Why? Because they didn't take into consideration one thing into their calculations, into their uh, computer simulations, which cannot be done anyway. They couldn't take that into consideration. That one element or one factor, one very important factor. What is that? That is love. Love. Love for humanity. Love of people. Your love. My love for you. Your love for others. Our love for each other. They couldn't. And they didn't even think about that. And if they did, which, which I doubt, because they don't even have that to think about it. They don't even have that in them. If they did have, even if one person did have that in their minds or their hearts, they wouldn't be able to because they can't do that. You know, Satan can copy anything that God does, anything. Satan can mimic miracles, do anything that God does and has done. And Satan has done those things. In the past, you can read them in the Bible, there is numerous occasions that Satan and his kingdom, his demons and, and his people have made miracles that look like miracles, they're not miracles, appeared as miracles. Think about Moses, Moses' staff and the magicians that did the same similar thing but Moses staff turned into a snake and ate all the other snakes so they can mimic Satan can mimic everything but one thing he cannot mimic he cannot copy he cannot replicate one thing and that is God's love he cannot do that because he doesn't have love he can heal he can give people temporarily healing and that's not even permanent, it's temporary. They'll get ten times worse afterwards. But it comes at a cost. That temporary relief, healing, comes at a cost because Satan doesn't do anything out of love. Prayer works by faith. Prayer works by faith. If you don't have faith, your prayer will not be answered. The way you ask, at least the way you're asking God to answer, the way you expect it to be answered. And faith without love is nothing. This is a scripture for you. I'm not making it up. Prayer without faith is nothing. Uh, faith without love is nothing. So people, I hear people praying for all the sick in the world to be healed. That's a wrong prayer. You have to pray specifically for that one person even, for 10 people, whatever number of people that you know and you pray specifically into their lives because you have love for them because you feel that compassion for them many of the times that in the, in the scriptures that we'll see Jesus um, coming across a man or a woman and he says Jesus looked at him and he loved him you know that's not love that moved him it moved him to, to the point of almost tears you, you know that kind of love and you look at the child you look at the woman you look at the man you love him you love her you love that child 
you love that man, you love that woman. Not as in love, falling in love or lust, as the Hollywood depicts, but love, brotherly love, humanly love, love of compassion. That you want to do something for them. That kind of love. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. For us. So that we may be saved. And Jesus loved us so much that he went to the cross willingly. I love you so much that I make this video for you. If you don't like me, that's fine. But listen to my message. You don't have to like me. Listen to my message and take to heart. Think about it. Pray about it. Pray, ask God to reveal the truth to you. Give you discernment, the spiritual discernment to know the truth. If I'm telling you lies, then don't listen to me. Have I ever lied to you about anything? I'm not the kind of person that just makes and create things out of nothing, out of thin air, I make news or I generate dreams. That's not there. I prophesy things that God hasn't told me. Everything that I've said so far, most of them have come true. Some of them are still to come. I told you about UFOs last year, didn't they come? It's all over the news. I told you about the Queen, Queen's departure and it happened. I told you about Iran uh, at the beginning of it, before it even happened, I said they are keeping it quiet and it wasn't even on any news. And I said, this is a revolution, this is not a protest, but they call it protests. Any media that ever talks about it, which is hardly, they say, some protests. It's not a protest. I told you about electric vehicles. I said, that's their agenda. Well, they won't achieve and they failed. I said about this climate conference that they had last year and this year, I said, pray, they don't have love. They will not achieve. They will be successful in some areas because all they want is money and control. If they can't have it from this angle, they'll have it from another angle. But unite in love. Pray in faith and love. Have love. Have faith. Believe that your prayers can move mountains. Don't listen to those people who say, you little thing cannot make a difference. This little me have made a little in difference, impact. I'm happy about that. Even if it is my, if this is my last video. And YouTube takes me down. Do what God is telling you and prophesy as you are commanded. Don't pro prophesy what you wish for, what you dream about, but prophesy as He commands you. Just as Ezekiel said, the Lord said to him, prophesy Ezekiel, prophesy to those dead bones. And I prophesied as I was commanded.
and, a, and I heard a noise, a rattling noise. The bones came together. I'm paraphrasing. It's not exact. I've quote word by word. And the breath of life came from four corners of the earth. And flesh came upon them. And they stood up like a great army prophesy prophesy to these problems and plans and schemes of Satan and the authorities the powers the cabal who are losing from every side pray against them prophesy against them prophesy because this is in line with the Word of God It's not our own dreams and wishes and it cannot be from Satan because Satan doesn't split his own kingdom pray against their evil schemes so they will not achieve pray that they will expose each other and they'll be brought down and that also was a prophecy and, and, and a prayer that I did quite regularly in most of my videos at the end of my videos more than a year ago and that happened they've been exposing each other and things have been happening not just in this country but all over the world imagine this country since 2016 has changed six prime ministers almost one every year by average uh, would they normally do that no they're unstable they're shady why are they shady why they're unstable because of what they didn't estimate what they didn't calculate in their computer simulations they didn't take into consideration love of people love of humanity for other human beings for their fellow men and women for their fellow countrymen and women and their unity their resistance their resilience and their opposition they may be considered some opposition but what they didn't understand and they couldn't figure out was the love stay in love love conquers it all have love for each other and pray earnestly with faith and in love without that you will not achieve anything we will not achieve anything the Lord is with us who can be against us hallelujah holy is the Lamb of God holy 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 is the Lord Almighty who was and is and is to come hallowed be your name your kingdom come O Lord your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and power and authority forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you. Stay strong and keep praying. They will be gone. They will be brought down. And God's justice will fall upon them. Be strong and blessed. And happy belated thanksgiving god bless goodbye